Jomo Kenyatta was a very wise president and there are many times, many stories that prove that he was a very wise president and even as he grew older and maybe a bit out of touch he was still the grand old man of Africa. There was a police officer called Mageria who was based in Nairobi at traffic headquarters and he was a different kind of policeman. He was very strict, he played everything by the book, he did not accept any bribe. Very rare, but believe it or not, there are those policemen. And Mageria was such a policeman in the 70s. And maybe even some of you listening to this recording know him and you can verify this story because he's still alive. Now Mageria, like all policemen who are straight, got into trouble. They always get into trouble because what he did impounded matatus which belonged to some very powerful people who are part of uh, the Kenyatta's, Jomo Kenyatta's inner circle. And so what happens? Uh, Mageri receives a communication that is wanted by the head of state at State House Nakuru. <laughs> if it was you, what would you do? So Mageri makes his way to State House Nakuru. He gets in and he waits and he waits. Finally, after a bit, he's told, uh, hold on. The president will be with you in a minute. Then he waits some more and waits. So finally, the president comes in, you know, with his walking stick, fly whisk, walking very confidently. So Mageri, of course, stands up to attention. And now he's just saying, this is the end. He's just telling himself, this must be the absolute end. I'm in serious trouble. So the president sits down. He doesn't say a word just looks at him and then he says uh, please I want you to confirm something for me uh, I was told your name but it's like I'm not believing I just want you to confirm to me what is your name young man so the man says Mageria now you need to understand that Mageria and Kikuyu means uh, you know somebody who is trying you somebody who's tempting you you know somebody maybe who's trying your patience or something you can interpret it that way somebody who's trying your patience so when Mageria repeats his name Jomo just bursts out laughing and he laughs and he laughs and he laughs and Mageria is just standing there you know wondering what's going on saying uh, you know and obviously scared because so the president suggesting that I've been trying him eh? I'm sure that's what he thinks this is what's going through Mageria's mind I'm sure then finally when the president stops laughing, he looks at Mageri and tells him, you're doing a very good job. If I had more policemen like you, we would have a better country. Well done. Just go back and do your job. So, you know, that was one thing. That was Jomo for you. And uh, I'm sure uh, nobody would dare contest uh, because I'm sure the, uh, the, the mafia, the Kiambu mafia surrounding him had insisted on this meeting and uh, maybe the truth thought it was going to be told off maybe they wanted to stage the meeting to show how powerful they really are that they had direct access to the president but i think jomo handled it pretty well and there are many other stories that show jomo as a very wise leader a man who took his time to make decisions but when he made the decisions they were wise decisions